One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tony Zhou here on uh, on another weekly video for you guys. Uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoying the weekend. And uh, also had a great trading week this week. Uh, you know, today we don't have a weekend mentoring session. Uh, it's going to be next week. So if you haven't, uh, you know, submit the charts yet, uh, go ahead and submit them. And so we can go over uh, that, uh, you know, next week uh, on, on Saturday. Uh, yeah, so... Um, this week has been, you know, it's it's not that slow, but it's it's not that you know great like uh, the week before, right? With the GME and also AMC kind of stocks. Uh, uh, but uh, this week we kind of have um, the the new sector was running, uh, which is uh, NFT. I don't know what the heck is that. I mean, you know, non fungible tokens or whatever, the crypto bullshit. Uh, but it's it's and you know it's all hype, right? <clears throat> And uh, so I just want to kind of go over that today and uh, to actually, I mean, like, you know, to show you guys how you can have a, you know, thought process around it or like how can you trade those kind of, uh, you know, tickers. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, let's bring on some charts. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to go over one of my uh, trade on Friday. Uh, and also, you know, I'm going to go over, uh, you know, the sizing. I mean, I've been getting a lot of DMS people been asking me, you know, where should you size up, you know, take advantage of that opportunity. I mean, guys, you know, it takes time, screen time experience and all that, uh, you know, back tests, uh, to know, to be able to know, uh, you know, how and when to kind of size up sizing. It's really an art. It's not that easy. Right. I mean, it was that easy, like everyone could be rich by now. Right. So, yeah, you know, trading is more an art than, you know, rather than science. So. So I'm going to bring on the chart uh, on this one. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, NFT stocks. What was that? Uh, TCAT. I think this one, it's, uh, you know, pretty much like a head of the snake. Uh, you know, for me personally, every time, you know, that uh, we have a crazy sector is was running, you know, for me, I mean, you know, like the the real edge for me on the short side is to wait for the extension, right? Wait for the chart to get extended to the point and then <clears throat> when it, you know, when it turns, it's going to be, you know, a huge dump, right? Basically. And, uh, you know, that's basically what we've been seeing with GME, uh, all the Wall, uh, Wall Street, uh, you know, bets on this one. You can see, you know, like going parabolic from, I don't know, 100, uh, you know, 100 bucks a year all the way to 500, right? First red day. I mean, for the short seller, I love to see, you know, the new sectors coming, right? I mean, coronavirus, this one, GME, and now we have MSM. NFT and to be honest, you know, my expectation on this one, it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's really huge, right? I was thinking that it's going to run. Okay. And, uh, let me bring on the, Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Chart here. Intraday. I mean, my expectation on this was, <clears throat> I mean, yes, we have another sector. It could be crazy. You know, the new stimulus checks are probably hitting their accounts right now. A lot of people are like dumb money uh, are involved, right? And uh, and I was really expecting for it to kind of rip, uh, you know, to kind of go to, I don't know, 100 and 200. And then 
I was, you know, basically waiting, patiently waiting for that first red day, right? But it's just somehow, you know, this sector, you know, I don't know. You know, I feel like it's, it's really weak. It just really doesn't make sense. I mean, you know, after this move, Monday, yes, Wednesday, you know, went like from 5 to 20. Right? I mean, that's great. Next day, gap up. I say, man, this is it, okay? Second day, third day you know, maybe 60, 70 or 100, right? But, you know, on the second day, it ran, you know, like for me personally, on this kind of squeeze, I thought, you know, it's going to go to the moon. I mean, I thought it's going to go to at least like 100 bucks or 70, you know, or like 80 something. But then, you know, it went red on the same day. I mean, it, it's just so weird for me to see, you know, uh, the kind of hot sector, you know, the head of snake, you know, behaving like that. I mean, yes, you know, market, you know, anything could happen in market, right? So that's why we have to kind of, <clears throat> you know, be prepared for it every day, right? So, but I'm not really prepared for this one because I thought it's going to be like the same as the previous sectors that, that you know, is run before. It's going to go, you know, uh, extend it a little bit more and then maybe on a day three and day four is going to offer us a really good first red day right i mean i believe that you know a lot of people has been waiting the same way that i did <clears throat> but then uh on on this one you know it's just you know tank right and you know it went red and after that you know what else can you do i mean i'm not going to chase this because you know, you can clearly see the moment it broke that it's like it went to like 18 and then that's it. Right. I mean, the move is not really that substantial. And and so that's why I was so hesitant to kind of take this trade, because, you know, for me, when the sector is, is running, like you have only two options here. Right. So you want to be a part of the herd that you want to go long. Yes. You know, follow the trend, whatever. I mean, that's fine, right? But I'm not a long bias. I, I don't want to chase, you know, the, these kind of, you know, stocks. Uh, so I think for me, like, I think, you know, uh, Alex and Harry did the best. You know, they went long here the moment the stock kind of reclaimed this and broke this 2480, which is the previous high. This is the edge for long. And, you know, that's probably the only thing I see, right? And also on this one here, uh, previous high, see? 11 line, you know, you wait for that to crack, you go, you know, uh, follow the trend, go long, right? And that's, this is like the front side. So for me, the thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.